What's up guys, Eli here, back for a new stuff video. Uh, Tony, otherwise known as the Life Eternal channel, was selling some of uh, some stuff out of his personal collection and I thought I'd uh, grab a couple uh, titles, so let's see what Tony sent me, huh? Uh, by the way, before I start that, I have a kind of a slight channel update. Um, I'm gonna change a couple of things about the way, uh, you know, about the way that I do things. Um, when I'm, when I'm doing new stuff videos, when I'm just, you know, showing you guys new stuff that I bought, obviously, I mean, those were never album reviews. You, you get that, right? You don't expect me to be an expert on the album or even to have listened to it yet. So I'm going to back, uh, backstep just a bit. Um, what I've been doing the last year or so, I've been taking notes, uh, you know, saying just a couple of things about the album and, and whatever, but I found the notes to be kind of distracting. I just want to kind of go back to doing it just off the cuff, off the top of my head, It'll be like I just got home from the store and I'm showing you guys what I just picked up. You know you know how it goes. You're excited. You want to tell somebody about it. I'm going to do that. But uh, I'm also going to change when I show my actual collection videos, uh, you know, DVDs and CDs, when I'm pulling stuff out of my collection for a specific video, I never again <laughs> will show an album that I haven't heard yet. If it's in my collection, if it's on the shelf, it's going to be listened to before I talk about it. And I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring the notes, you know, bring a couple of facts, release dates, you know, order in the discography, stuff like that. I'm going to bring that to my collection videos, but the new stuff, I'm going back, baby. I'm going back in time, back to my roots. I'm just going to show you guys what I got and what I know about it off the top of my head. So that said, let's get going. So these are all black and death metal of, you know, different varieties. We're going to start with the classic Elegy from Amorphous. Uh, this came out, I believe, in 1996. So this was the first album to feature this vocalist, this guy right here. And he was in the band, I think, about seven years. Uh, so this came after my personal favorite, which was Tales from the Thousand Lakes. Um, and this kind of continues that, uh, but it goes into much, much, much more progressive territory. Now on Tales... I consider that kind of a doom death album, but they, they are starting to go down the prog path. But on this one, they just go, I don't want to say full out prog, they'd, they'd be more proggy later on, but uh, they're starting to really experiment with their sound. There's still death metal to be found here. Um, there's kind of a mix of death metal vocals, and, and, and this guy does great. He, his death metal vocals are outstanding, but he's a pretty decent clean singer too. So you got the death vocals, and you got the clean vocals, and... You know, I've, I've heard this album a handful of times, but I've never owned it, so I'm really happy to have it in my collection, and uh, I'll be spending much more time with it now that it's in my collection. I won't just, uh, you know, I've always liked this album, but I've never, I've, you know, it's never really gotten stuck in my head, but I know people that just love this album. I know people that this is by far their favorite Amorphous. <laughs> And the only other death metal album we got for today, Drawn and Quartered, Hail Infernal Darkness. This is one of their earlier albums, came out on Moribund Records. Drawn and Quartered are just a great death metal band out of Seattle, Washington, not far from where I live. They're also known, I mean even the band knows this, they are known for being one of the most underrated bands of all time, death metal especially. Uh, I, I, they're one of my favorite death metal bands, to be honest. They play, if you like stuff like Immolation, uh, you know, they play more of like an East Coast, like a 90s East Coast sounding death metal. These guys have been around a good while now, but they, they kind of missed that, you know, 90s second wave of death metal. They formed in like the earlier, even pushing the mid 90s. So they just, they just kind of missed out. I think sometimes I wonder though, had they started in, let's say like 90 or 91, would they be better known? Would they, would they be more respected or would they just be swept under the rug with all the death metal bands that were coming out around that time? Hard to say, but I think they're fantastic. If you've never heard Drawn and Quartered and you like death metal, you have to hear them. Any album, just pick any of them and you can start there. Moving on to the black metal, we're going to start with Nocturnal Breed with Napalm Knights. 
Uh, this album came out, looks like Agonia Records, 2014. They are a Norwegian black thrash band, kind of a super group, if you will. Uh, they were one of the bands that would make, you know, bring that the black thrash sound that is popular nowadays. This is one of the bands that would start it. They, this is one of the bands that were doing it first. So if you like black thrash, you haven't heard Nocturnal Breed, this may not be my favorite album. I'd say just start with their first album. It's awesome. And just go from there if you like it. Then we got Black Funeral with Four Dog. Uh, this album came out in 2005. This is considered, by and large, probably their worst album. Would I agree with that? I don't know. I like all the Black Funeral stuff, but this is a weird one. Michael Ford, you know, he's no stranger to electronic music and ambient and stuff like that. And this, this album is, I would definitely call it black metal, but it's got a lot of noise and industrial elements. And uh, it's raw as hell. It's a rough listen. It's just noisy as all fuck. I like it. I don't think I love it, but I do like it. Again, this is a very hated album, but some of the fans dig it. I don't know. I like it. And Sorcier, or Sorcier de Glace, I never knew how to pronounce it. Probably why they just started calling themselves SDG. Uh, Ritual of the End, great, great, great. Quebec black metal. Um, their debut album, Snowland, I think it came out in like 98, so these guys were, you know, kind of late 90s. Uh, oh, it's a fantastic album. I do not have a copy. In fact, I've never owned anything by this band, and I've always wanted to, so I'm glad to finally have something from them, and I hope now it's just a snowball effect. I hope now I start getting the rest of their discography, because they are fantastic. If you like black metal, you need to be into this band. <laughs> We have the second Watain album, Rabid Death's Curse. Now, I already have it on vinyl. Uh, this is the Season of Mist version. I think, I think I have the Season of Mist vinyl, by the way, too. Might be a picture disc. I can't remember. Uh, like I said, it's their second album. Dude, I'm, a, I'm an unabashed Watain fan. I think they're fantastic. I don't give a shit what their detractors say. Yeah, I know they got popular. So fucking what? Um, I think they're a great band who... They really carried that classic Swedish black metal sound. They, they, they were just flag bearers for it, and I, and I love them for that. Uh, I think they're a fantastic band. Sure, they had that one dud album, but everything they else have done uh, has been stellar. What do you think about Watain, guys? Let me know. You hate them? You love them? I'd love to hear about it. And the last thing for today, Tony threw this in as a freebie. Thank you, sir. We got Evangelist with uh, Writhes in the Merc. Came out uh, via Hell's Headbangers Records. I think 2014, I think this came out. Which is kind of cool because that's where my collection stops. I think 2013 was the last thing I had from them. So this is just, this is literally picks up right where I left off. So I take this band. I'm, I'm happy to, you know, continue on in their discography. They play a very evil black death metal kind of unique sounding um i always describe them as kind of like at least i'm gonna kind of, i'm gonna more describe their debut album to me it sounded like evil death metal mixed with like atmospheric like evil atmospheric and almost even almost depressive black metal just smush those together and it's it's just so killer i love that first album and i like stuff that came after it uh, i just haven't heard a ton so happy to have this writhes in the murk from Evangelist. Check this band out. You know, they had some buzz when they started, and sadly, nobody really talks about them anymore. Uh, well, I don't want to say nobody. That's not fair. Um, there, there was some drama in the band. Um, the two members had a falling out, split off, and as far as I know, they both have their own version of the band. I'm going to go with Val's version. Um, the, other, the other member, the vocalist, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think Val, who, who, was, uh, who wrote the music, I think she was the more talented of the two, and she seems a little bit more credible from what I've read, so her version's the one that I want to go with, and I think I'm going to ignore the other version, because 
I don't know, unless it turns out to be really good, I'll listen to both, I guess, but Val, Val's version, and Val has actually commented on one of my videos one time, the last time I talked about Evangelist, so Val, if you're watching, um, maybe you could answer, maybe you could clear some of that up for me, if, if you don't want to talk about it, that's, I totally understand, and I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to pry, I was just curious, I just was just curious what was going on uh, with the band, are there still two versions or not, uh, be cool to know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it. All I got for now. I got plenty of stuff I'm working on. I've been staying very busy with this channel, and uh, as you know, and thanks for continuing uh, this journey with me. I would not do it without you guys. If nobody talked to me, I, I would. I just wouldn't do this. Uh, even if I got more views but no comments, I would stop because um, that's why I do it. So, anyways, uh, I, I hope you guys are having a good week. Mine's kind of eh, but uh, Louis says hello. He's we're actually, we're fighting right now. I'm kind of mad at him, but uh, that's another uh, story for another day. But uh, we will talk soon. Thanks for stopping by. Fucking cheers. Uh -huh.